in tax because blockchain has implications right across the spectrum for us. So it's everything from international tax policy, domestic tax policy issues, right through to tax administration, tax crime investigation. So there's really a lot for us to consider. Um, on the cryptocurrency side, for example, when it comes to policy, we're facing issues such as what's the correct tax treatment when you have cryptocurrency in exchanges? And should you be looking just at exchanges where you have fiat to cryptocurrency or also crypto to, crypto to crypto exchanges as well. And that means things like when you make a profit on a transaction, is it income, is it capital gains? Should you be paying VAT on those transactions? Should they even be considered for financial transaction tax purposes as well? So the possible ramifications are quite huge. And we've seen taxpayers really start to look for answers in that area recently, really related to the fact that we've seen the value of many cryptocurrencies increase a lot over the last year or two. And some of those profits are really coming home now and people want to know what's the right tax treatment when I come to my tax declaration. At the other end of the spectrum though, we're also looking at the potential for cryptocurrencies to open up opportunities for tax evasion and avoidance. In that regard, it's a slightly different approach. So the OECD has done a lot of work over the last 10 years to really make sure that we can shut down bank secrecy for tax purposes so that when people look to shift funds and hold funds offshore and avoid their tax liabilities, they were able actually now to trace those transactions through the automatic exchange of financial account information. Now, when it comes to cryptocurrencies though, they open up a new opportunity for people to shift funds offshore. So at the OECD, it's important for us to understand what exactly is the magnitude of that risk and what tools do governments need in order to actually prevent, detect, and successfully investigate and prosecute tax crimes and other financial crimes involving cryptocurrencies. I think we've certainly heard, uh, including over the forum in the last two days, that there is quite a demand for more regulatory certainty. Again, you have the majority of people who want to do the right thing, but without any guidance on what that is at the moment, they're not really able to move forward. And because cryptocurrencies are so mobile, this is really a global issue that a body like the OECD is very well positioned to help governments find guidance on. We're very, very early on in the piece, actually, when it comes to harmonisation. And really, these sorts of issues are questions for countries to decide at a sovereign national level. But what we're looking to do here at the OECD is to help countries come to the right decision and the right policy position for their particular situation. So what we're starting to undertake now, in fact, is a survey to actually just take a snapshot of where everybody is at the moment, because we have some countries that have already started to issue guidance, whereas we have other countries who are not even at that point yet. Um, there are some countries who have looked at the income tax side, but not the VAT side, or they might have looked at the exchange of cryptocurrencies, but not looked at mining or ICOs. So by taking a survey, which will give us a snapshot of where countries are today, we hope we'll be able to provide a bit of a best practice for countries on what other countries are doing so that they can look to move forward in their own policy development. Okay.